weep, grind and weep, mini bong! And welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. I'm coming back at you today with some stuff and things that I found from the four corners of the Tinterweb. I do this every single Tuesday and Saturday on this channel, so if you like the sound of that, why not think about giving me a like, a share, and of course a teensy wincy little subscribe because it really does help me out before we kick off the transformers news today quick update from ramen toys on their 80s commander which of course to you and i are the centurions power extreme so they showed off a few more pictures of this gorgeous sea commander here absolutely beautiful the air commander looks fantastic as well absolutely can't wait for these guys Early bird pre-orders going up very, very soon on this one. Get them while you can. I know I will be. And now the news. Don't touch that dial. So, we have a few more filler pieces here coming out very, very soon for our Kingdom figures. Starting off with Huffer. Now, all of these parts come from Tim Hedder, which is actually not somebody who I am overly familiar with. I've never covered them on this channel before, but it all looks pretty good. And I think that they are uh, 3D printed, I believe. But again, I could be wrong here, so I'm sure somebody will correct me down in the comments if I am. But starting off with Hoffer, and that looks fantastic. Some little filler pieces just to fill him out, but also a nice little spear or two close combat weapons for your 86 Scourge that makes him just look a little bit like the kind of IDW style. I think Iron Factory as well came with weapons like this. But also for your Air Razor, the crossbow for Air Razor. So a few parts there just to finish off your Hasbro Beast wars and uh, studio series and kingdom figures there just to make them look a little better lots of people doing this these days hopefully this is something that uh, you guys find interesting as well also over to the world of fun b studios and they've been putting our wigs on megatrons <laughs> <laughs> which is the judge's gavel and judge's wig which comes from an episode of beast wars i'm not overly familiar with but fans of beast wars i'm sure will love this again staying in the world of beast wars we now also have the palaquin uh, from some of the beast wars episodes as well i think it's call of the wild i think it says there um this is something i'm sure beast wars fans will absolutely love totally reminds me of the throne that the ewoks put uh, C-3PO one in Star Wars. Pretty cool looking. Uh, hopefully all you Beast Wars fans will absolutely love this. So Manga Motion has been able to get their hands on Lady Eris, which is the new figure from the team over at Ocular Max, which is kind of a, a mashup of Tarn and Windblade and maybe a little RC thrown in there as well. Absolutely gorgeous figure and it was an exclusive on their Planet Steel Express for a while. Until now, unfortunately, it is sold out. Hopefully it will restock again very soon. Uh, my pre-order is already in on this beautiful, beautiful beast and then I will soon have my grubby little mitts on you. Uh, and I'll show it on this channel, but really, really nice looking. It shows how it scales very well with all of the rest of the figures, including that tarn. It is like a little mini tarn. Absolutely gorgeous. So a few places, including The Chosen Prime, now have a 2021 pre-order up for the reissue of x Transbots take on Cliff Jumper. And this dude looks so nice. This is something I actually don't have in my collection, even though I do like the x Transbots a lot. This dude is absolutely gorgeous. Nice looking spear here. Looks like he's really, really well articulated. Uh, from what I've seen from reviews that are up, this is... Is a pretty pretty decent bot he's got the hand that changes over to the gun type of hat and you can see how he sizes up against other versions of bumblebee and things like that as well and of course he has all the accessories that come so he can look like he's going on the water next to your mp bumblebee he looks fantastic yeah it's not the classic design of cliff jumper it's a little bit more stretched out but for me 
it's beautiful it's an absolutely gorgeous cliff jumper definitely something that I'm thinking about picking up uh, have rubber tires and it has all of the blacked out windows just looks gorgeous so many accessories including the uh, the long range gun which he's not very good at aiming at let's be fair pretty cool uh, also we have a few more picks and flicks of the youth version of Motormaster. I have seen such a split kind of fan base on this. Some people love it, some people hate it. I have to say I'm actually in the camp of I love it. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous version of Motormaster. I own the original take on this. It's black, it's purple, it's everything I'm about when I'm buying Decepticons and Transformers. Uh, I think that this version of Motormaster is fantastic. Uh, it's one of my favourite figures actually in my collection. Uh, and I think that this version is equal to if not in some places better than the original for me i don't know why i really like the head sculpt i really think that the head sculpt is absolutely incredible the version of the alt mode here is just beautiful the the alt mode on this is fantastic for some reason it always reminds me and i always say this about this figure that it reminds me of something from mask it looks like the side should come out and rockets should shoot out the side if they ever did uh, their take on a mask vehicle this is definitely the vehicle that I would like to see turned into some kind of Venom vehicle with missiles and all kinds of stuff because it looks just so impressive in that mode. Very, very nice. But the bot mode here looks great. This photo shoot that they've done with it is awesome as well. That new head sculpt really does add a lot uh, to this figure as well. The silvers, the blacks, I do like the yellow on the side. It does add a little bit more detailing in. And obviously all of the fantastic articulation is still there from the other one. The only issue I had with the articulation on mine was some of the fingers were a little bit loose and one of them kind of didn't work properly out of the box but I, I, I did manage to fix that. I put the, the pin back in a little bit better. The silver sword is something that I'm not as hot on. I do wish he still had his purple sword even in this but overall what an outstanding figure. Love the original. Not tempted to pick this one up, but if you haven't picked up the original, I think this is a must for any collector. Moving over to the world of Zeta Toys, and they had a small announcement to make that a small amount of aircraft toys that have been delivered recently have had a problem with the wing plugs being loose. And the reason is that the wing plug hole is due to the thickness and the difference in the paint. So there's a few issues coming uh, and they are asking you to please contact their after sales mailbox uh, to sort out this issue and then they will happily fix it for you. Transform Element have released their pictures of their take on Scorponok and it's an okay, fairly nice looking Scorponok. I'm not a beast dude, but if I was going to pick up a Scorponok, I think actually at the moment I'd pick up the Hasbro one that's coming because I actually think it looks a little bit better than this one. Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments. Up for pre-order in multiple places now is the Iron Factory IFEX200 EX200 Tyrant's Wing Obsidian. So I'm not sure if this is a reorder or a re-up in some places or this is just a pushback from the original release date which I believe was around June 20 but I know a lot of Iron Victory figures got pushed back due to certain situations last year so hopefully uh, this will really ignite some passion under some people to go out and pick this figure up it has under me I haven't picked any of the uh, kind of seekers from Iron Factory up and I think I'm definitely going to go and pick this one up well worth it looks incredible look at that paint job absolutely gorgeous New Age have been showing off a few pictures of their take on Shockwave and I, I'm, I don't know why they use Ted can anyone does anyone know why they use Ted is there a joke that I'm missing here probably an obvious joke I do record these fairly early in the morning sometimes so it might be a joke that I am missing here but we can see it next to some of their other new age figures like the Megatron the uh, Soundwave and actually the Shattered Glass Megatron that I've recently looked at on the channel as well if you want to check that out 
So we can also see him next to a bumblebee here as well, so obviously he would still, even in legend scale, he's still a little bit bigger than a bumblebee. He's just a classic looking shockwave. I think it looks very, very, very nice. Not sure if I'm going to pick this up, but I do love the alt mode. Uh, I do love some of the stuff that New Age are doing. Uh, the New Age figure that I picked up recently, um, I, you know, I, I couldn't recommend it as much as I wanted to. I have got three more versions of that figure coming so I'll be able to test out the other versions of it but yeah you know this is nice looking if you're looking for a decent looking uh, legend scale shockwave so obviously smaller than your average transformer then this is this could be the one for you and I think that the the alt mode is great comes with a lot of accessories a lot a mini version of himself see-through hands and a stand and I don't know if it lights up you see, always seem to have that little light in the middle of it. I'm not sure if it will light up. A lot of the smaller ones don't tend to light up, but if it does, that'd be nice, nice if it does. IDW shared a couple more covers for the issue 3 of Transformers Escape. So this is their new comic run, as we know, after Rise of the Decepticons. The comic run split into two, being War Worlds and Escape, with Escape actually focusing in on what's happening with the uh, the people that live on Cybertron and actually more of the flesh creatures that kind of live on Cybertron as well and how they're dealing with the incoming war. Both of these are being covered on my channel. Both are really, really, really interesting stories. So definitely recommend that you go out and start picking these up. Hasbro showed off some fantastic Kingdom artwork. We know that Netflix issue three is coming very, very, very soon. And this artwork is amazing. So we have the Ark smashing into the floor with the Nemesis behind it. We have the Ark embedded into the volcano while Cheetor, or a Cheetor, <laughs> looks on. We have the Nemesis crashed in the jungle, which looks absolutely fantastic as well. I've been looking for some little Easter eggs and I can't really see to find any easter eggs anywhere let me know if you've managed to find any but all of this looks absolutely incredible super hyped to see the finale for the kingdom series and the war for cybertron series overall the internet has now been flooded with pictures of this you slag so we have now have some pictures of old slaggy himself here interesting to see if he's still released under the name slag i'm pretty sure he will be good old hasbro well done uh, and this looks pretty good i'm i'm actually very very excited for this figure uh, the transformation here looks pretty much standard to a slag transformation uh, daniel can get in the bin um, they've used wheelie type legs and this frosted glass effect that goes on on the head they did it with the uh, busby is it the bumblebee busby stuff as well no looks awful just put his head in there no why 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 the main event himself though old slaggy looks absolutely fantastic what i love the head sculpt it does look a little bit small on the bot mode but the alt mode head sculpt looks absolutely fantastic plenty of molded detail in here yeah so similar to my concerns around the grimlock it's not exactly uh showing off the best characteristics from the movie where it was a lot smoother it is more okay it looks like the movie but we're going to give you a lot more molded detail which i'm fine with but i just wish they didn't say it was as close to the movie as possible overall i think this looks great i'm not sure about the height size um should he be a smaller than grimlock or is he the same size because he actually to me he looks a little bit bigger than grimlock in some of these pictures the daniel figure as i've already said can absolutely get in the bin but i am super excited for this do you think they are going to do the entire run of the dinobots in this scale and in this fashion i certainly hope so because i think that grimlock was great actually probably my favorite one that they've released from studio series so much far and this also looks highly highly impressive super hyped for this let me know your thoughts down in the comments takara released their pictures of their latest masterpiece and their latest masterpiece will be skids now this is not actually a figure that i'm super hyped for looks very very nice looks like a great masterpiece scale figure 
highly detailed head sculpt, love the blues and the reds and the massive Autobot symbol on the front. Also the fact that the bonnet comes up and there's a little engine inside and it comes out. The alt mode is nice. It's a Honda City R and I do like the fact that I've actually been able to keep the Honda badge on the front. That doesn't actually happen very often with Transformers. You usually see that they have to remove the badge so it just looks like it. So this is definitely a great thing to see that it's an actual Honda keeping the badge on there and it's the City R. However, I have to say that the version that I'm going to be picking up is this one. This one is Reboost. So Reboost is actually a bit of a callback to the original Diaclone version. So yes, it's a recolor of skids, but this goes back to the red version of the Diaclone number no. 6 Honda City Type R that was previously issued uh, as an e-hobby character. Now, because this is a harken back to the Diaclone days, it comes with a little figure and it also comes with this little scooter. And this little scooter was actually came with the original uh, City R. When you bought the City R, you got a scooter with it. So, hey, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool and will definitely be the version that I'm going out fishing for. Let me know which version you're up for picking up. Something I like to do at the end of these news segments sometimes is give people a bit of a shout out who are doing fantastic work within the Transformers world as well. And today I'm definitely recommending you all go out and check out Swit Craft on Facebook. Swit Craft is an artist and he's just done this awesome Ghostbusters Afterlife take on bulkhead with a slimer on his head this looks awesome so he is a stay puffed marshmallow man truck so i guess he's got the liquid stay puffed or just a whole load of stay puffed marshmallows in the back and that little box becomes slimer so he's a little bit of a headmaster as well awesome awesome take on this figure i want it i want it i want it in my collection awesome work from Stripcraft there that's it from me today. Thank you all very much for checking out my video. As always, think about giving me a like, a share, and a subscribe because it really does help me out. This channel has just gone past 2.2K subscribers. Absolutely fantastic. Awesome work. Let me know your thoughts on this and everything else down in the comments. And I'll see you in my next video. All right, guys. In a bit. Peace.